Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. A retail complex on the Las Vegas Strip may soon be torn down. Review Journal Jen Ah has more on the fate of the Hawaiian marketplace. That's right. Hawaiian Marketplace is already shuttered, eyed for redevelopment. Now it could be reduced to rubble. The property's landlord says construction is imminent through a court filing. But this lawsuit that was filed last month appears to be the first indication of when construction will actually begin. Uh, not on the project itself, I should point out, but on the demolition. Now, this lawsuit that was filed in June against a, a now former tenant at Hawaiian Marketplace uh, basically says that they're going to start fencing off the property in August and start demolishing buildings there in August. Back in 2019, New York investment firm Gindi Capital acquired Hawaiian Marketplace in hopes to unveil plans for a new flagship retail, entertainment, and dining experience. However, the Review Journal could not find any permits or applications for demolition within the Clark County's record system. You can stay tuned for updates. Now on to your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Clark County officials are looking for people to serve on the Metropolitan Police Department Citizen Review Board. The 25 board members will review misconduct complaints against Las Vegas police and forward the findings to Metro's Internal Affairs Bureau. Applicants must be residents of Las Vegas or unincorporated Clark County and have no felony convictions. Applications are available at CitizenReviewBoard.com. Nye County Commissioner Leo Blundo has been charged with felony domestic battery following allegations that he choked his wife at their home in March. The incident was triggered after he discovered more than $77,000 in cash and a gun missing. Blundo will appear in court on August 29th at the Pahrump Justice Court. If convicted, he faces one to five years in prison. And Sergeant Mark Menzi and Officer Cody Bonner and Leo Chavez receive a life-saving award from Sheriff Lombardo for saving the life of a man at the Electric Daisy Carnival. The man had collapsed from a body temperature of 109 in what was believed to be a drug overdose. His medical was like, hey, we need to go right now. So I grabbed his feet. I know he was going to grab his body, slung him over, and we just ran through the crowd when Sergeant Menzi was uh, making a path for us. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. A 30% chance of rain and thunderstorms is forecasted for your Wednesday this afternoon. Still, mostly sunny skies with highs near 99 degrees and light winds. Tonight, wind gusts will increase, mostly cloudy skies, lows around 85 degrees. For the rest of the week, rain and thunderstorm chances continue with light winds throughout. Daytime highs will be in the low 100s into the weekend, and evening lows will stay in the mid-80s. Your lifestyle news sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river. The Bellagio debuted the Garden Table, a single table with brunch or dinner service set within the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. The table displays the conservatory's summer theme, Jungle of Dreams, with 28 animal sculptures and nearly 10,000 plants and flowers. Guests will reserve the table for up to six people with a time frame of up to two hours and fix menu items for both brunch and dinner. And the Public Education Foundation held a ribbon cutting for the Teacher Superstore's new location on South Decatur Boulevard. The store aims to reduce out-of-pocket expenses for teachers who spend their own money on classroom supplies, which are often given to students in need. And we know that our local teachers tell us that at least 61% of our students show up without any school supplies. And who's going to supplement that? It's going to be the teachers. And we don't think that they should have to carry that burden. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Aces beat the Chicago Sky 93-83 to in the 2022 Commissioner's Cup Final Tuesday night. Chelsea Gray scored 19 points and added 5 assists, earning the Commissioner Cup's final MVP award. Kelsey Plum had 24 points and Asia Wilson had 17 points, 17 rebounds, and 6 blocks. The Aces continue their road trip on Friday when they visit the Indiana Fever. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. NFL training camps are underway, and Jaguars head coach Doug Peterson and Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni are the 16-1 co-favorites at Circus Sports to win the AP Coach of the Year award. Kevin O'Connell of the Vikings and the Chargers' Brandon Staley are 18-1. Raiders coach Josh McDaniels is one of seven listed at 20-1. That includes the Saints' Dennis Allen, the Lions' Dan Campbell, and first-year coaches Brian Dable of the Giants.
and the Dolphins Mike McDaniel. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Governor Steve Sisolak visited the UNLV nurse camp yesterday as high school students participated in the final session of the summer. But it gives them a chance to be exposed to nursing and see if this is what they maybe want to do, they for sure want to do, and give them a head start on the field. Uh, COVID showed us we lost a lot of nurses. Nurses worked overtime during COVID. And they've moved on, so we need to fill that pipeline with new students. The camp provides hands-on training to high school students interested in the nursing career. They learned everything from CPR, first aid, how to stop bleeding, and general nursing skills. Um, I think that nurse camp is a great opportunity for um, students who are interested in being in the nursing field. They kind of get a taste of what um, nursing is going to be. Um, well, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be in the medical field, and so nursing is just something I want to pursue. Nursing also has a lot of opportunities. entertainment news, Lotus of Siam is opening a new location in Red Rock Resort at the end of the year. The original Lotus, currently closed on East Sahara Avenue, is completing renovations as well as their current location on East Flamingo Road. The mom and pop restaurant is famously known for their duck noodles and curry sauce and their expansive selection of German white wines. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. The 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.